Stone Block Wonder expert Maxine Rosenthal and fellow quilter Nancy Miller comes their newest bestseller, One Block Wonder Panel Quilts, which is now available. In this quick video, we will show you how to make a One Block Wonder Panel Quilt from start to finish. First, you'll need seven copies of the same fabric panel. That's it! That's all the fabric you'll need to make a One Block Wonder Panel Quilt. We are using this bright and fun panel from Robert Kaufman Fabrics called Adventure by Jan Patrick Krasny from Picture This. Robert Kaufman has many great panels that would work well in a One Block Wonder quilt. Check out this cool dinosaur panel or this pretty unicorns panel. So many fun options. We're gonna cut up six of the panels and leave the seventh to the side for later. Next, layer the panels so the design is lined up exactly through the six layers. There's tons of great info and tips from Maxine and Nancy on how to do this in their book. Pin the layers together with flathead pins and cut strips. Next, you will cut the strips into 60 degree triangles. I used the Mini Super 60 Clear View Triangle Ruler from Quilt with Marcy Baker, which is available on ctpub.com. And it made it super fast and fun to cut up all the strips. Alternatively, you can use the 60 degree lines on your rotary cutting mat or ruler. That's it! All the cutting is done! Wow, that was the most fun I've had cutting out a whole quilt! Now you sew each set of six triangles into two rows of three triangles each. Make sure you put the same corner of each triangle in toward the center so you will get that cool kaleidoscope effect. Press and pin the two half hexagons together, but don't sew them into full hexagons yet. Grab that panel that we put off to the side at the beginning and put it up on a design wall and lay out the placement of your hexagons. We decided to put the panel in the center and echo the arrangement of colors in the panel with the blocks around it. Maxine writes that this is a good place to start in designing your quilt. Once you have an arrangement that you are happy with, unpin the half hexagons and take them down from the design wall, making sure to keep them organized and in order. Next, you will sew the half hexagons into columns and those columns together into sections. Sew all the sections to the panel. And that's it, a completed One Block Wonder panel quilt top. It is so much fun to make and see the variety of blocks that all come from the same panel. Here's another example of a One Block Wonder panel quilt. This quilt was made by our publisher, Amy, using a totally different style panel. What a unique and beautiful quilt. Make sure you pick up a copy of Maxine and Nancy's One Block Wonder panel quilts to get the step-by-step -step instructions to make your own one-of-a-kind quilt and it's packed with tons of more advanced techniques and ideas for even more customization. Happy quilting!